still at Camper UK site and the next one is a uh, Laker Laker so this one is on a 22 plate five pounds short of a hundred and ten thousand it is a Laker Eco VIP Eco VIP H 4109 A class 22 plate 2670 miles 4.25 ton and they have a four berth and it's a nine speed automatic nice big wide starts a wide step again there's your there's your dustbin in your door with the dustpan and brush in it step in you've got your lights and your controls just inside the door which we like directly opposite you've got your kitchen and then your lounge area with your foldy art table so stepping in you've got that drop down bed seats at the front all leather work yeah, little cupboard, little cupboard down there as you come in, you just open, a couple of plug sockets, I'll just move the paperwork and show you the, so that's the size of your table when it's all folded out, plenty of room to get five or six people around that their paperwork back there's your view of the front it's on a Fiat and this is the new 9 speed automatic it's on a 22 plate so this is the new 9 speed automatic that they're now using again oh, good use of space instead of it being dead space they've got two little cupboards either side cupboards above and then in your kitchen area you've got drawers all on this click and push yeah and then yeah plenty of space in them and then above there you've got a three burner hob this one's just a single glass plate on top but no problem with that nice oh very deep that is it wow that's got to be like eight inches deep that deep sink oh clatter bang there you go put that back in cupboards above you've got a typical german tech tower on this side fridge freezer and you cook a grill these are all the new style double opening so there's your fridge freezer and the top one is your very similar to what we've got in the death lifts yeah shower separate shower shower on that side nice big shower white yes one of my personal favorites got there and then that one's a door that comes across and folds and folds okay yeah and while you're doing that you have is it ah that's why undo that you have your sliding doors on either side so to make your To make the shower room up you close your toilet door onto one side close your two your two sliding bedroom doors and in the middle that gives you a changing room so on that side you have your toilet your hand basin the obligatory mirrored cabinets not just one but you've got two cabinets and two side pieces all in glass there 
Yeah, lovely. Little cupboard underneath, and then into the bedroom. Uh, don't know if you'd call this an EB or if they have a different name for it. I know they put different numbers on for different models, but the the German style double bed where you have either two signal two singles or you put the form inserting and then you've got loads of space under there for one wardrobe with hanging rail stick a there you go so you've got a little shelf and rail space in that side and then on this side it's actually drawers the garage is quite a decent sized door for getting your bikes and trikes and goodies in looking down the side there you go and then you've got bike rack on the back bike rack on the back there double camera up the top and then on that side you have a smaller slimline door so there you can see the size of the boot plenty of room there to get your bike in or your trike in you've got rails with the uh, they've got all the carpets in but you've got rails with your tie downs in so you can tie stuff down yeah and drawers water tank drop yeah excellent size inside we have all leather seating nice what do you call this lounge area it's uh, the Iveco truck automatic left hand drive you've got the cameras for the cameras for the rear view and above you have telly cupboards sound system controller for the satellite system on this side you have full set of drawers let's have a look yeah wide opening full width drawers they're not don't think they're self close oh that one's a cupboard for your your gas yeah yeah sink with infill plate yeah nice sink a Thetford four in gas cooker with a grill underneath yeah grill underneath and then more drawers more drawers under that cupboards on that side on this side you got full house size fridge and freezer on there cupboards above on the other side you've got an expel air and a microweavy there's your expel air inside you've got shower on that side glass sliding doors on this side you've got your toilet when it goes down cupboards above and your toilet heated towel rail sink big big sliding door at that side through to your bedroom where you've got your steps up light controls usb sockets uk plug sockets usb sockets uk plug sockets four cupboards down each side plenty of lights another hakey roof light and you've got your infills 
so you can turn it into a big double bed and then you shower across so pull your door across that side yeah, pull your door across that side and it turns it into if I just step up pull your door across and it turns it into your shower room dressing room and bathroom or shower room toilet room very very nice I shall there you go on the outside there you go there is a garage you can have a party in that is I think the largest garage I have ever seen that is humongous there's enough room there I mean our garage is big and then you've got there you go more cupboard space more cupboard space in there there's drop down cupboards all the way along there heater unit and as you can see lights and UK plug sockets fantastic that's the price five pounds short of 140,000 and that's what it is an RS Elisan LHD left hand drive Part exchange available and that's from RS Motorhomes I said good morning everyone welcome to Motorhomes and Caravan this is Christian Motorhomes and Caravans so we're gonna have a look around a couple of his vans do you a couple of You're reviews welcome. so this is a Rymo Evo 77 show price five pounds under 69,000 inside we have right hand drive it's on a Ford he says we can order a left hand drive if needed it's a manual six speed box no bed above so you've got plenty of headroom lots of storage there's your table and your lounge area turning round you've got your kitchen area you have three burner hob put that down and you've got more prep area underneath you've got a cupboard two drawers just slide that out one's your cutlery drawer and the other one is I think that's a bin or deep storage and then above you've got your sink fold down so it's all out the way and then at the back you have a drop down bed and a rear lounge so you can have two sleeping that folds down yeah you have two sleeping at the bottom and two sleeping above very good this side you have wardrobe hanging space above a knee level or a waist level oven grill and then cupboards below at the top four cupboards going round two on that side and two on that side up here you've got fridge at the top and I think that's a freezer but yeah freezer box down at the bottom very good and then through the magic door we have oh it's not a wet room oh that was unexpected it's actually let's turn you a light on there we go you've actually got your toilet there and then just in there you've got your sink 
and your shower. So the shower unit comes off, the sink unit comes out and makes your shower unit. Feed that back in. Oh excellent, but that folds it fold the folding door across the front there. Brilliant idea. So it's not a wet room, so if your loo roll and your towels and that don't get wet. Very good. We'll have a look outside at the garage. There you are, low level garage. You've got enough room in there for a scooter, your awning, all the other bits and pieces, your carpets. Yeah. Not sure you'd get a bike in there. But there's room on the back for a bike rack. All that for just a shade under 73. Can't be bad. We're now at the Remore stand, Rymore stand, and this van is an Eldis 196 AutoQuest. So there's the spec sheet for it. Normal price 75,989. Sure price, say five, six and a half thousand pound, sixty nine thousand, just under sixty nine thousand five hundred. It's on a Peugeot Boxer 2.2 .2 litre, 140 brake horsepower. Left hand door, so no getting out of your door straight onto the road. Obligatory dustbin on the door with. Ah, not got it in. Put the light on. There you go. Just inside you've got your lounge area. I think that would probably make into a single bed. This side would make into a single bed. It's a Peugeot manual six speed. Again no bed above the beds above my head now so it's a central drop down bed but that gives you a huge headroom at the front for the driver and the co-pilot six speed manual as i said i think this folds down to make a double there's a double above me and then I'll turn around and show that in a second you've got the kitchen area so Three gas burner, one electric. Thetford grill and oven below. Pan storage below that. One, two, three, my goodness, five drawers. Five drawers is going down this side. Little one for cutlery at the top. One in the middle. Yeah, all drawers. And then for a fan this size, an absolute huge kitchen preparation area. You can use the top of here, the top of here, into your sink. Lift upon your sink. I presume that's, yeah, there's your sink. Chopping board can go either way up, one way for storage and the other way for when you're using it. At the back, you've got either two singles or I presume you put infills in and slide it out lounge area and make that into a double cupboards all the way around at the top hickey sunlight hickey roof light on the top this side you've got yeah there's, there's the infills yeah hanging space another another five draw units there there's drop downs under either side of the two seats in the back in the lounge area and then last but not least into your shower room and that is this one is a wet room you've got toilet shower and fruit bowl sink and the obligatory mirror good morning Very nice. So we're still on the Remo stand. 
and this is the Evo 66 Plus recommended price on this just a shade under 67,000 then you've got all the add-on packs etc so that takes it up to 78,000 so the actual price on this 78,000 sure price now 68,895 this is on a Ford Transit 2.0-litre again right hand door while it's open we'll have a look in the boot there's your boot this is one of those where your bed raises and lowers so at the moment I'd say that bed is more or less fully down yeah so that's the size of the garage with the bed down and then when you go inside you raise the bed up and that takes it out of the way inside straight in front of you you've got your kitchen in front you've got your fold away sink and then back here I think that's a yeah a three burner there you go three burner underneath you've got two cupboards yeah plenty of cupboard space in that one and pull out cutlery drawer in that one at the front right hand drive as I said it's on a Ford 2, two litre leather and cloth seating up above you've got your central drop down bed yeah, cupboards either side and if I turn around you can see here you've got your <laughs> they're using this as the party bus here you've got your fridge freezer with your freezer drawer at the bottom just above there you've got your Thetford grill above that your controls and then nice close off door close off your door to keep your bedroom and bathroom out of sight during the day nice island bed you can see what I mean by the raise and lower now yeah when you uh, when you want the whole of that bed can raise up level so the headboard will go up whatever distance that is uh, 300 mil and then either side you've got cupboards I'm not sure if this is a slide up no that's just that's attached I'm not sure about that yeah that's attached the, I think they're slide up draw units or cupboard units you've got Thetford, Thetford toilet and a sink unit above, warning timbre door slides all the way around shuts it all off for when you want to have your shower and then on the other side open that up no that's just for your toilet because on this side you've got there you go there's your shower unit vent in the roof lights above and a folding door again as normally happens the wheel arch does encroach but I think you find when you stood having your shower it's not a problem yes. not, don't stand on the outside edge you stand in the middle when you're having a shower so yeah very good and then electric drop down bed above So that is the Evo 66 Plus.
This one still on the Remo stand. This is the Super Brig 695. So while the garage door's open, there's a garage you can hold a party in. There you go. Shelving, lighting above, tie down points for your bikes, your scooters, for everything in there. Lovely. This is a 140 brake horsepower. It's the Super Brig 695 TC. The show price on this five pounds under seventy-five thousand pounds. Stepping in, you've got your lounge area with your multi-position fold-out table in uh, like leather and suede. I don't know if you can see the effect of this. It's like a leather and cream suede effect. Wooden flooring, wooden, wooden look flooring, shall I say? Just move the chair. This is on a Fiat, so you've got the the Fiat control wheel with all your phone and radio and cruise control, etc. In the centre, you've got the pop-up. You've got the rear screen above, rear screen view panel. Again, six speed manual. Above, you've got your fold down bed. So, in the daytime, you have it folded up like it is now. At night time, you can see the gas struts either side. Night time, it falls down as I did that left handed, one handed. It falls down as easy as that, and I would say that's a decent sized double, maybe even a queen. Ladder up there so you can get up and down. Again, they haven't put the buckles on just because people like me keep coming and doing this. You've got cupboards either side. One on that side, three on this. In your kitchen area, very wide drawers, space underneath and another drawer below that and in the bottom one a deep pan drawer that's got to be that's got to be a good 250 mil 300 mil deep deep drawer round sink inside three burner hob enough prep area to do what you need to do on this side double opening fridge freezers Dometic you've got open that way and open that way mm, yeah some find it useful some not so much freezer above this is almost like a tech tower and then Definitely an eye level oven. Yeah, eye level oven and grill. Into the bathroom, bedroom area. On the left hand side of the bus, our right, you've got separate shower unit. Yeah, light panel at the back. I don't know if the light, light panel switched on. Hang on, there you go. Switch the light panel on. Yeah. Rain, rainfall shower above, single point at the bottom, no, no encroaching, no encroaching with this one into the, uh, into the shower tray with the wheel. On this side, you've got your toilet, your fruit bowl sink, Window. Morning. And then you've got your continental style bedding. Two single beds or you put the infills in and it makes a decent size queen. Maybe a king? Yeah, maybe a king. Underneath 
you've got ladders for getting up, hanging rail, room for your shirts, your underwear and all that lot on that side and on this side oh a huge cupboard yeah uh, could fit our dogs in there hmm and then underneath access to your heating and your pipes etc into your garage so uh and a mirrored area at the back hello again two cupboards at the back and uh, i don't know what you call them knick-knack shelves above you put your Put your books on there, your mobile phone, there's a TV point up there with your aerial and your 12 volt. Yes. Nice vehicle. And this is, as, as I said, this is on the Remo stand. We're now on the Creative Camper Vans stand. They have a Auto Trail Imala 730. Six speed manual, island bed, four berth, only three and a half ton. So you can manage this quite happily on your driving license. 69,500. Looks like a marvellous example of it. It's on a Fiat Ducato base. You've got, still, still got the original auto trail brolly. Your dustbin with your dustpan and brush. Inside you've got grey cloth interior. It's a, as I said, it's a six-speed manual. No drop-down bed at the front, so you have like similar to ours. You've got cupboards all the way around. Plenty of cupboard space. Knick-knack shelves in either corner. Turning pilot and navigator seats, and then how's that for your kitchen and prep area? Loads of space there. You've got Dometic fridge freezer below, auto changeover multi fuel, oblong sink above prep area and then at this end three burner gas and one electric hot plate underneath that grill and oven storage underneath that above there another couple of cupboards and uh, Russell Hobbs microwavey at the back an island bed there you go you can get round both sides it shoves up and down so you can stow it back to give you more space at night drop it back down plenty of room to sleep either side you've got wardrobes there you go shelfing unit and wardrobes there two cupboard units above This is a wider one, so I'm imagining this is going to be your hanging rail. There you go, hanging rail, and that's also, I don't know if you can see that, that's also got your table in it. You've got USBs, yay, USBs. Yeah, USBs on that side of the bed. Again, knick-knack shelf above. TV point there in the corner. Yeah, it's a solid wall, you can mount a TV on there. And then on the other side, you have knick-knack shelves and your dressing mirror. Sliding, sliding timbre door or sliding concertina door rather on that side. And then in your bathroom, you have Thetford toilet, built-in hand basin nice neat little small hand basin there and lovely big shower that is a huge shower again in the bottom there is no encroaching by the wheel arch into the shower so it's a full size full width shower and on that side you've got your dressing mirror and roof vent above 
Above your door, you've got your auto trail control panel and your trauma INET ready control for your water and your heating.